Hi viewers, today we are going to uh, see one of the commonest uh, procedures done in our uh, cosmetic surgery center that is rhinoplasty nose correction. Today I am going to explain how I am going to analyze a client and how we are going to plan the procedure what we are going to do the client and what are the pros and cons of each procedure and what are the common side effects we come across. Uh, this is uh, one of the complete video for the rhinoplasty, that is nose correction. So if you analyze our client, if you see here, we analyze face as a whole first, we analyze how is the projection of the chin and how is the projection of the nose and what are the problems we commonly see in the nose. Some people they have a hump here, there is a small hump here which always gives them worry, they come for the hump production. Few people, if you see this nasal bone, this width of the nasal bone is very wide. They want to narrow it to give a aesthetically pleasing nose. So most of the clients, they themselves say what they want and what, what is bothering them. So next common problem, if you see, is the uh, for him the nose uh, height is very good. Few people, it will be so depressed. The nasal height, this bridge, is so depressed. So they want to come want to increase the height so they that's also one of the common problem why they come from other common problem if you see a lot of people the nasal tip is so bulbous for him also it's a bulbous so they want to narrow the uh, narrow and uh, they want the sharper nose so they come for that few people if you see this base the nasal base will be so wide they want to narrow the nasal base okay these are all the common problem one patient comes to us and other common problem is the deviated uh, nose this whole thing will be deviated like that because of the septum inside there is a septum which divides the right and left nose so uh, that one deviated so the whole nose looks deviated so these are all the common things on paper for which the patient come across so uh, though we give few options uh, to correct the problem non-surgically but all the non-surgical options, say example, if the nose is depressed like that, we can put the filler or some fat to increase the height. Okay, And these few things can be done by uh, 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 without doing any surgeries. Uh, but that, those are all the temporary options, some are permanent options, but whatever we do non-surgically, producing a aesthetically uh, little bit pleasing result, we, we can't achieve the results what we will get it through surgery. Okay. See how we do perform the surgery. So there are two approaches. One, we don't make any external cut. We go and make the cuts inside the nose and we freeze the whole surgery using that nose. What is the advantage? The, most of the time the problem of the nose surgery is the persistent swelling. They probably sometimes the swelling will be there for uh, three to six months. The patient has to uh, wait at least six months to, uh, to know what exactly happened uh, the, what is the surgical reason? So, the waiting period is so long if you make the cut here, which is open rhinoplasty. So, the closed rhinoplasty, the advantage is swelling will be less and there is no visible scar externally. What is open rhinoplasty? Open rhinoplasty, if you see, we make a small cut, just, yeah. we, we make a small cut here through the cut, we along with the inside cut, we make a small cut here. So, the swelling will be more. The tip swelling is another uh, swelling which goes last, so that swelling will be more in the open rhinoplasty. So, if, but that as a surgeon and as if you want to do a lot of work together, obviously uh, open rhinoplasty is the best. And very minimal work, only we want to introduce the implant, the closed rhinoplasty is best. So, what uh, we normally uh, do is we go with open rhinoplasty for a major work. And for minimal works, we do we give, we give, we do only uh, close uh, rhinoplasty. Uh, so each each problems how we address. Say example, if there is a broad nasal bone, we need to break the nasal bone, and we have to push it to the center to reduce the uh, width of the nasal bone. The the so the most of the clients are afraid how uh, doctor you're breaking the. Uh, facial bone what is going to happen but uh, the, all the facial bones have a wonderful capacity wonderful uh, property of healing fast 
So wherever we keep the facial bone, it heals in that particular position and gives a very good result. So that's the principle what we are using here. We break the facial bones in both the sides and the the, con, the uh, nose tip, sorry, the nose uh, root, and we just uh, uh, bring uh, uh, push the natural bone to the center, give give a aesthetically pleasing look. And other problem is the hum. The hum, even he has a small hum here that has to be reduced by uh, rasping the uh, hum, and uh, sometimes we need to remove the uh, cartilage in the sump in the front. And uh, other common problem what I discussed earlier is the broad nasal tip. We have a, a cartilage called medial pleura, uh, which comes all the way down here. You see a bulge here and here. This both the bulges are because of the excess medial pleura. So we have to remove this excess medial pleura. At the same time, most of the Indian clients they need lot of defattening, lot of fat will be there in this tip, so we have to defatten that. And uh, if you do both the things together, the uh, the bulge in the side will go down. Same time, most of the time they will have a drooping tip. So for that, we need to give support to little bit elevate the tip. For giving the support, sometimes we use the uh, septum, the, the septum which divides the right and left nose. So that septum ca can be used to elevate the tip. Sometimes if the septum is not adequate, sometimes second case, second time, third time coming to the rhinoplasty, we use the ear cartilage. We take a ear cartilage from the ear and we used to give support to the tip. And uh, finally, as I said, to reduce the uh, base of the, the width of the base, and for that we need to make a small, uh, we remove a small bit of tissue both the sides and we stitch it. The the scar what? We are going to give here both in the groove of the uh, nasal uh, ella. So obviously the scar won't be visible. So these are all the common things uh, we do using a uh, by rhinoplasty. And uh, the, what is the common problem they normally come across? See rhinoplasty is a lot of uh, biomechanics involved. So sometimes we can't predict exactly how it goes. So sometimes they need to come for the secondary touch up procedures uh, if they feel this part is not a good doctor rather I am happy about all of the parts the mild the difference in the right and left side mild small uh, correction need to be done yeah obviously secondary correction can be done after 4-5 months later and uh, other common problem is that as I said earlier the swelling you have to wait till the swelling subsides before attempting for the secondary corrections and uh, what else you, you, you have? Sometimes the uh, or we fix the cartilage in the front, sometimes the cartilage may slip and those kind of things can be addressed with the, in the small local procedures. So if you, if you assess the patient properly and if you address the problems and discuss the problems with the clients properly before the surgery and uh, end results will be definitely good. Most of the time the problem comes if you don't discuss with the patient and uh, don't tell what you can achieve. Don't overpromise the patient. Always you tell what you can achieve out of your surgery. If you overpromise the patient, that only provides a lot of problems. So they have un un uh, like lot of expectations. So obviously, uh, end results no good. It may not be. Uh, they may not be happy. So always uh, you 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 have to explain to the clients what you can uh, uh, what you can achieve by surgery. And uh, the after surgery cast for each uh, procedures are different. If you break the bone, it is different. If you uh, only address the teeth, that is different. If you use the implants, the aftercare plans are different. So each, each after after surgery plans will be individualized. Should be individualized. I think uh, I gave I gave a brief idea about what is rhinoplasty and uh, how we perform the surgeries. Thank you very much.